Hi everyone. So today I'm going to demonstrate you how we can run Angular application locally with Docker and ng Annex. My name is Dheeraj. I work as a software engineer at JP Morgan Chase. The tools which I'm going to use uh, on this demonstration is Node.js uh, along with NPM and uh, Angular CLI should be uh, globally installed and uh, uh, code editor which I am going to use is Visual Studio Code. You can use your preferred uh, code editor and Docker should be installed on your system. So let's get started. Yeah, so we will open the terminal window. I will increase the size so that it is clearly visible. So here uh, we can see that node version 14.17.1 is installed on my system and if I check the angular angular is not installed so I will install angular now it should install uh, the angular CLI globally now we can see that angular CLI has been installed so uh, we can check through ng version and it says that 12.2.1 angular version has been installed so we'll let's create a project first I will create a directory I'll move to that directory I will create a angular project with default configuration it will take a while to create a project the project is successfully created we will move to the angular app and we have to just run this ng serve command to start the serving of this application Okay, so uh, we can see that our project is successfully compiled and uh, it is being served at localhost 4200. So let's check it. Yeah, so our application is up and running. We can see that Angular app is uh, up and running. So I will show you that this application is hosted on 4200 so it is being hosted with uh, ng serve command the same thing i will show you the same application i will host with uh, docker and ng annex so for that i will uh, open the project i will create a file doc docker file this file should not have any extension and we will create one more file docker ignore this file is similar uh, like we have uh, git ignore file we will go over here in the docker and we'll create the node stage we will assign it as a builder then we will set the working directory which is our app after that we will copy the file from current directory true working directory this command will copy the file after that we will uh, run npm install and we will build the 
application the next stage will be to create the nginx stage for serving the content will use the ngx alpine we will set the working directory to nginx assets directory after that we will remove the default nginx static files or assets we will remove all the files after that we will copy the static content from the builder stage This is the last step. We have to run the ngi-annex with global directive and uh, daemon off. But this, I'm just uh, running it in the, I'm running daemon and off mode because we are running as in our uh, local machine. But when you run, uh, in production environment we will not make it off okay so now I will First, I will check whether okay Docker is running or not. So here we can see that right cannot connect to the Docker daemon because the Docker daemon is not running. So in order to run this Docker daemon, we have to uh, open the doc Docker desktop, which is installed on your system. So here we can see that Docker engine is starting. So okay, so now it is started. I will just show you that now Docker P is will return this things. So if it is returning container ID, image command, created status and ports, it means your Docker engine has started. So, <clears throat> we will build the application with Docker build command so this part is going to take a minute or so so I'm gonna speed up this process docker build has successfully completed now we will run the we will run the docker application on port 8080 so the angular app dot latest could not be found so what we will do we will use a docker Okay, so we will use the image ID 
to run this application. Okay, so so if I go to the browser and check it on port 8080, cool. So here we can see that our application is up and running. So to stop this application, we have to go to the, uh, again, a new terminal and uh, we can check what all container is running. So here we can see that only one container is running. So we can use docker container stop command and we have to just pass the container ID and this will stop the container. Let's go and refresh the page and we will see cool that's it for today's video thanks for watching